Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Dignam here, and today we are going to review matching a multiplication number sentence to a model, a visual model. And we've learned that some visual models that we've been practicing is an equal groups model or an array. So first we're going to look at our factors and we're going to remind ourselves of what number, what, is it, what do our factors represent? Well, a factor is what we're multiplying together in order to get that total. Okay, so our total is six. So you're thinking, okay, what are my factors in this number sentence? Our factors are two and three. And to remind everyone that we learned over these past two weeks that our first factor, which in this case is two, is always how many groups there are. And you might be thinking, what is a group? And a group is kind of like an area or a shape that's holding or has something together. So I'm thinking of when I'm going apple picking, I like to pick my apples and put them into different baskets. Baskets that are holding the apples are kind of like groups, right? They're holding these apples together. And the same thing goes for shapes. If I have circles here and each circle has two dots inside, these circles are holding these dots or they have these dots inside. So these circles are, are, are representing how many groups there are. So I'm going to erase this quickly, and we're going to go back to our factor. So we just said that our first factor is always our groups. We also know that the second factor is always how many in each. So when I'm reading 2 times 3, that's kind of like saying 2 groups of 3. There are 2 groups with 3 in each. So let's keep going. So in this number sentence, this little red box is here, and that means that we have to figure out how many groups there are in this model. Because remember, our first factor is always our groups. That's what it represents. So take a second and count how many groups do you see? All right, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. There are five groups, so my first factor is five. Five times four means five groups of four. Let's go to this one. In this situation, again, we have to identify our first factor and we know our first factor is always how many groups. So let's look at this model. We're going to count how many groups do I see? So take a second to count your groups. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. There are five groups, so my first factor is five because five times three means five groups of three. Okay, let's go to this one. Okay, in this situation, again, we're doing the same thing, except instead of looking at an equal groups model, we're looking at an array. So take a minute and look up here. We have to identify our first factor, and we just discussed that our first factor is always how many groups there are. So when I'm looking at an array, I like to do a little trick. I like to identify how many groups I see first and then work from there. Groups are basically how many rows are there. And when you think of rows, I want you to think side to side. If you're sitting next to someone in a classroom, you guys are in the same row. So I'm gonna start and separate my rows because I know that each row 
makes a group. So if you notice, I drew lines to separate them, but I could also make them as circles. All right, let's count and find out how many groups there are because we need to fill in our first factor. So take a second to count how many groups you see, and then we'll count them together. All right, I know that my groups are my rows and my rows go side to side, and here I have them circled up, so let's count our groups. One, two, three, four, and five. There are five groups in this array, so my first factor should be five. All right, let's check out this one. Okay, in this number sentence, it says two times one. And I think all we need to do here is to just look at our first factor, which is our groups, and I want you to check out both of these models, and I want you to be thinking, which model is showing me two groups? Is A showing me two groups, or does B show me two groups? That's right, B has two groups. And I know this is gonna match because when I look at my number sentence, it says two times one, and I'm learning that two times one really means two groups of one. And if we look at B, there are two groups with one in each. Okay, let's look now at this number sentence first. So this number sentence says three times three. We just learned that our first factor represents our groups. And now we're gonna remind, our, remind ourselves that our second factor is always, how many are in each? How many in each? Okay, so first let's start by making sure that our groups match. So in this number sentence, that's telling us that there should be three groups. And in fact, this does match. Here's group one, here's group two, and here's group three. So our first factor certainly matches. Now, our second factor is how many are in each. So that means in this group, our number sentence says that there should be three in each. So that means in this group, there's three. In this group, there's three. And in this group, there's three. Three times three means three groups of three. Okay, now let's practice this again, um, looking at an array. So we know that four is our first factor, so there really should be four groups. So let's double check that we have four groups in, in our array and make sure that matches. We remember that in an array, our rows are side to side, and that makes our, we can make groups by identifying how many rows there are. So again, we can draw a line separating each, like through each row, or we can circle each row to make our groups. So our number sentence says that there should be four groups. So let's count our groups. One, two, three, four. Okay, that matches. We just learned and that our second factor is how many in each. So let's count how many are in each group. One, two, three, I'm sorry, hold on just a second, okay? 
four and five. Four groups of five means four times five. Or I could say it the other way, four times five means four groups of five. There are five in each group. Okay, let's do the same thing here. Two times, and I'm actually gonna give us a factor here. Let's do, um, let's do four. Okay, let's draw a model that matches this. I'm gonna actually draw an array this time. And the way that I like to do it is reminding myself that my rows are kind of like my groups and rows go side to side. So I can either draw a line. Oh, actually, let's fix that. There, are, there needs to be two groups because our first factor is our groups and that number right here says that there are two. So we're gonna draw two groups. So I'm just gonna label, I'm gonna number them right here. Here's one. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get my pen working. Here's one group and here's two groups, or group two, I should say. Okay, and in each group, there needs to be four because my second factor, which is four, represents each, so I know that each group has to have four. So let's do that in blue. Okay, one, two, three, four. Group one has four. Group two needs to have the same amount, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see if I can erase this. Oh, and I can. Here's my array, let's talk about it. Two times four means two groups of four. Here's group one, and here's group two. Same thing here, we are looking at an equal groups model and we need to identify the number sentence that matches. So let's remind ourselves, our first factor is always our groups and our second factor is always how many in each so start with your groups take a second and count how many groups do I see groups is kind of like an area or space that's keeping things together and in this case our groups are holding these yellow tiny little cubes so let's count how many groups do I see one two three and four. You're right, there are four groups, so I'm gonna write that as my first factor. Now, let's talk about our second factor, which is how many in each. Let's count together. How many are there in each group? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine in this group and nine in this group and nine in this group and nine in this group. That means my each, there are nine in each group. Four times nine means four groups of nine. 